I'm Susie from Addy King Loomers and Knits. Welcome to another video. Today's video is on the Addy Express Pro Child Slipper. And this is what we're going to be making. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. Okay, now this size uh, is, I don't know, for a very young child, probably five, six years old. The reason why I had mentioned uh, to some of our group members we cannot make an Addy Express Pro adult slipper is because the width of the flat panel that is uh, made by the Addy Express Pro is that width. That is a flat panel width for the Little Express. Okay, so um, the only other thing that I can think of that if you want to make an adult slipper you're doing this method is if you found a way of making uh, this part higher. Um, the only thing I could suggest is maybe crochet. I've never done it but I'm sure somebody could come up with a way. Uh, if you do, let us know. Okay, this, this end of the slipper you are going around and for this size, I did 20 rows going circular. Then I used waste yarn on the first three black needles, and which uh, is only done once. And then we switch back to our regular yarn and we do flat knitting back and forth, okay, for 10 rows. And doing that gives you about this size for using, um, I'm using the Brunette Premium. It's a worsted weight yarn, uh, number four. It's very similar to Love's. Anyways, that's what I'm using. And as we know, that using different yarns gives you different size of whatever you're making. So you'll have to judge accordingly. The back of the slipper, um, I did, uh, using the method the answer lady came up with and she made a video on how to do a kitchener stitch you know sewing it's grafting and it looks like a regular knit stitch when you're finished it's, it's pretty much seamless there's no there's no ridge inside the slipper so it's very comfortable she used that technique to close sock uh, the, the toe of the sock but it works perfectly for this as well uh, the top of the slipper I slip stitched with a crochet hook all the way around, picking up the three stitches that are left on the waist yarn, which you'll understand as we go along. Okay, now I made this one in November. As you can see, it's bigger. Um, I made, This is the pom-pom that I added. Uh, again, it's a little bigger. I believe I did 24 rows going around and then I did 19 to leave that size of an opening of the foot. So depending on the size of the foot that you want to make I will be how many rows you're going to do. So it will be trial and error but at least you'll know the method on how to make the slipper. Um, I guess that's about it. Uh, I'll leave the link uh, to the answer ladies video below in the um, in the description of this video. So you'll have the link of how to graft uh, the back of the foot. Okay, so let's get to it and I'll show you how to make the child slipper using the Addy Express Pro. Hi there. Okay, let's get started. First we're going to thread our, our machine going back and forth like normal because we're going to start in the round. Okay. Our yarn in the feeder, close the door. Okay, so we're going to do 20 rows going around. I think 
my counter is jumping four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty now that's your first black right so I went a little too far but no worries okay so the first black that we have here after we've done 20 rows we're going to take a little piece of waste yarn okay for not very long maybe well, six inches or so and we're going to do these three black needles with it all right so what we're going to do is we'll cut off our main yarn give it a a little length so we can sew that in later okay and we're going to take a little piece of waste yarn a different color and we're going to just do those three black needles with it so it's going to hold those three stitches okay all right so we take that off make sure those are inside so they don't get in the way I'm going to reset my counter don't know if it's going to work properly it's funny hey eh? I was in the other room no problem with my counter and now it's giving me trouble now that I switched rooms so again sometimes it depends on the humidity of the room for your counter to malfunction so we're going to take our main yarn and put it back in the feeder just before the, the white needle okay and then we're going to go back and forth now it's not necessary to switch it to flat okay uh, the way I showed you how to do flat panel knitting in my other video it is what we're going to do here I don't use stoppers uh, I feel as long as you look at the red tab before the needle that is sufficient for you to return to going back anyways you'll see what I'm talking about so we will knit our first white needle make sure you got enough length okay so we start by knitting the first one down and we continue until we get just before the black needle so this is our last white needle we're going to the black one so what we'll do when this goes underneath the the red tab here okay we will return so it goes down see it went down so now I return so this doesn't get knitted well, this one gets knitted okay then I return remember with flat stitched you always pull that okay return so this is number two because that was the first row this is going to be our second row we are doing ten rows in this slipper just for an example because you can do whatever size you want to do okay that's our last white needle being knitted this is going to go underneath then we return now we're doing our third row go 
goes under that red tab, and then return. We're going on our fourth row. This is to make the hole for your foot to go into. Going under that red tab, you return. Give it a little bit of a tug. We're doing our fifth. Goes under the tab, we return. Oops, pull. This is number six. Under the red tab, return. This is number seven. Under the red tab, return. We are going on number eight. Under the red tab, give a bit of a tug. Number nine, tug, and this is our tenth row. This is where we will finish. Now, because this is our tenth row, it makes it a little easier to sew uh, when you go to garter using um, a kitchener stitch, for example, uh, it would be easier if you would have a few rows of waste yarn um, so you can tell the difference between stitches. So at this point, this is going to be knitted, that will be our last stitch, I will grab hold of some waste yarn. So I will cut my main yarn here. Give it a little bit of a tail. Let's knit that stitch. Okay, and okay, let's go underneath that red tab. Okay, now I'm going to continue with some waste yarn going back and forth for a couple of rows, okay? Same as we were doing, flat, flat, flat panel, okay, um, just a few rows, just so it's easier when we go to show, but to sew. This is great practice for your flat panel knitting. I mean, as long as you give a little bit of touch on your edges there, they're going to be nice ridges. There will be no loops. But if you don't give that little bit of a tug when you're doing your panel knitting, you get loops and it doesn't look very nice. Okay, I guess that's enough. You don't need too much, just enough so you can, it helps you when you're, uh, you're sewing your pieces together. Okay, all right, so cut your waste yarn. And we open our trap, Let your yarn out, and just do a round. And that should come off nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so it doesn't look like much right now, does it? It's a short slipper, but that's what it looks like when you're done. This is the opening of your foot. These are those three stitches I was talking about earlier that's left on your waist yarn. This will be all 
crocheted uh, slip stitch around or whatever method you want to do. This here will be sewn, will be grafted with the Kitchener stitch. And this end, okay, if we can find the end, okay, we're just going to pull that together to make the toe. Okay, so there's your toe. Alright, so in fact, let me get the one that's finished. Okay, this is what it looks like finished. Okay, so you just tighten the end right now. Use the uh, sew this. You can either just sew it or and have a little ridge or do the Kitchener stitch and then you won't have any ridges. And like I said, you would just uh, take your crochet hook. Um, I used a six millimeter, I believe. And what I did was I started with my my three stitches here. I started with this, and maybe I'll show you a crochet hook. Okay, so what I would do, um, do I have enough here? Mm. No, I don't. Okay, so I take my main color yarn. I would put my crochet hook in there. And I would start it off like that. Okay, so I would just slip stitch it through. Because you, you really don't need any tightness here. Okay, so you just slip stitch it. Now when you've done all three of those, I would just continue on with a piece of yarn and I would pick up each stitch. So the next stitch would be this one here, right? So I would just pick this up and don't forget to weave in your your tails there and slip a stitch. So you would go all the way around like that. Hope I'm not confusing you. Okay, so you go into the next one. Now I'm not a crocheter by any means, but you get the idea. Okay, I'm weaving in my tails as I go along, so I don't have to do it later. So all your little tails you're going to have to weave in like you normally do in a project. So you go all the way around like that, all the way around your foot. You can do that right away, or you can graft this together. Okay, so as uh, the, the answer lady shows, Okay, you would put your waist yarn inward. Let's put this inside out. Might be a little more easier. Okay, so you're going to sew, stitch, from stitch to stitch. So when you take your needle, okay, as she will show you on your video, and you go from the first stitch and so forth. So each pink stitch or your main, excuse me, your main color, you would pick up, right? Until you have your, your, your back seam done. Okay, and then you would get 
or slipper like so. Then I would put a little pom pom, okay, just like uh, I did on the the first slipper I did in November. Okay, if you could see that, put a pom pom there, make a nice finishing. Now, if yours curls in like mine does here, you can always steam it. I don't know if it's the yarn I used or, or because I crocheted it, I, it curls in a teeny bit, but that's it. I believe this one has a seam. Yeah, it is. See, last year, I didn't know anything about grafting, so I just sewed it, and that's what it looks like inside when you just sew. So as you can see, you can have you have a ridge. Uh, not that it would really bother you that much, not like in a, a toe. Whereas her method, it's just a regular knit seam. So there's no real difference. Well, I hope that video is uh, helpful and it helps you understand my directions. Uh, like I said, I'll leave a link to the Answer Ladies uh, video to show you how to graft those with the Kitchener Stitch. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again. Bye.